All right, I'm going to continue on with what I was just talking about in the video uh, before this. And so this lick, I mean, you know, beginning tapping. So I'm showing you a lick like that. That's pretty freaking stupid, but whatever. Anyway, what happens when you first start tapping and whatnot, we, at least with me, the left hand, it was always like the, the back end fingers were leading to the next string. And that's what happens in this lick. So I'm playing 10th fret, D on the first string, pulling off to my index finger on A on the first. Oops, sorry. And then my little finger of my left hand hammers onto the G on the 8th fret, second string. You could use your ring finger. I'm just using my ring, it's, or my little, it's up, it's up to you. So 10th fret to 5th fret on the first string, little finger hammers on from nowhere. Uh, to the first string, 8th fret, the G. And then you're tapping with your right hand, index finger at the 10th fret, 2nd string. Pull off to the E on the 2nd string, 5th fret. And then, the last note in it is very important. You have to lead back into that. So your little finger is going to play the C on the 8th fret, 1st string. And if you just play just that lick, you can be maniacal. That's kind of nasty. I, I'm not, I haven't played yet. But you get the idea. And you notice this, keep it stable. I, I was getting lazy there. I was putting this on the guitar strings, which is actually good sometimes, but in this case, it's not. Now, you can do the same lick if you want to just, you know, keep your... I just don't get as good a connection with the string. Anyway, you can continue that lick down through. Whoops, that was bad. So each time you move to another string group, it's, it's a group of two strings each time, you lead with whatever appropriate finger for the pentatonic scale at that point. So in this case, on the D on the third string, that's my ring finger. Now I'm gonna tap on the E on the ninth fret, third string, or I could do the F, like I said, at the 10th fret. See, and then I'm leading to the fourth string with my ring finger of my left hand. Fifth string. So I'm on the fourth and fifth strings there, and then. And you can mix it up however you want. You can play 58 times between these two strings and just once between those two, and you'll notice I did that. So I don't necessarily have a rhyme or reason for that. I just kind of do it how I feel like doing it at the time. Oh, that's terrible. Hopefully that helps with something. I'll give you one more. <laughs> 